This video is just literally a bunch of cats. No, it's okay. Two doors. We're walking into Old Town. Our first full day in Kotor. Is it Kotor? Kotor. 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 Mmm. Ah, nothing like the smell of freshly cut grass. We haven't been out and it's 4.30 now, mm. so. We are enjoying it's a Saturday. Just relaxing and resting. Don't those kind of look like little baby sharks? So, like Dubrovnik, there's an old town here that has big walls and uh, you can walk up them and do all that kind of stuff. And this one's pretty crazy because it's up against like a mountain. Yeah, the walls the aren't walls... like a circle. It goes up like along the yeah. mountain. It, we were saying it kind of looks somewhat similar to like the Great Wall of China on different Just not levels. as great. Well, yeah, not it's different, in but it reminds us of it. Looks like a building. I noticed the lack of pigeons in the holes in the wall. Never a good sign. Ooh, that looks cute. Oh no, we've lost her to the stores already. Everywhere you go. We lost Shelby to another store. Can't take this girl anywhere. I feel like something I've noticed about the old towns in Europe is that, like something funny is that you'll get a really important building, like the town hall. And it's right next to this pizzeria. I feel like that feels normal here just because it's like, it's what we're used to here. But in the US that would never happen. Like why would you ever have a big like government building next to like a that old. shop? Well yeah, that's part of it. But I just think it's so funny because it's like the old and the new and they're literally right next to each other. Hey, people in the government buildings have to eat pizza. That's true. Maybe it's the best location for them then. Hello. So we just walked across the entire city. It's quite a bit smaller, I think, than Dubrovnik. One thing that really strikes me about this place so far is just the pace of it. Granted, we are in off-season technically at this point, um, but it just seems a lot slower paced than Dubrovnik. I'll probably be comparing it a lot to that because we just came from there. Yes. It's called the Jazz Club. Well, we're need to just head out. We found the pepinos of It looks like they have one in salt. Couture. <laughs> Getting all of your ger his germs all over you. I think we found another town dog. I love town dogs. Well, we came, we saw. We pet cats. And we pet lots of cats. Shelby's not allowed to touch me right now.
because so many cats. I feel like we saw most of it. I think we did. Which is Which funny. is nice. I'm so so glad that we opted to stay as long I as we know, did in Croatia. Croatia. I mean this is really beautiful for sure. Um, but, but I think there is this would have been a long time for one month here. Yeah. And Croatia sped by. Croatia has a very <laughs> special place in our hearts. This um, is a video about Couture though. This is yes. not a video about Croatia. If this you want to see a video about Croatia. Look at the last five videos that we've <laughs> uploaded. <laughs> now we need to go find some food. I am hungry. Hangry. On the verge no, of I'm hanger. Not hangry yet. The cats tided her over because she didn't eat I them. I was getting a little She was angry, just excited but about them. The anger part went away with the cat, so now I'm just hungry. Uh, I just got done making some toast, had the screen door open, and uh, we just have our little friend who's right here. I think he really wants to come in. <laughs> He's very sad. We can't let you in the house though, buddy. Yeah, we know you want food. Do we have any crumbs? Oh, crumbs. Sad. You're the worst. <laughs> I hate you. <sighs> and that's when Shelby got shipped back to America. <laughs> and Matt got to do the rest of the trip alone. Good luck with that. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, today is exciting because we get to hang out with some friends. I know, in Couture, of all places. I know, and we didn't even plan it. It just randomly happened. It really just fell into our lap. So, so a couple of our friends are driving through here on a little tour of the Balkans, so we're gonna go catch up with them in the old city, get some lunch. We actually went to college with Carly and Axel, and we got to meet their friend Doran on this trip. <laughs> so we just have a, we have a deal now that we have to pay for ice cream. <laughs> We're now on our way to go get some ice cream. We have made it to ice cream land. Uh, <laughs> Axel is very excited. Onyx. 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 Activated charcoal. Iceland sand? What did you get? Coconut, of course. Tropics. <laughs> of course. Dark chocolate. Classic. Okay. Um, this was supposed to be like hazelnut chocolate. I think it's just chocolate, but it's... <laughs> okay, so dark chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, Dude. Iceland sand. We have all the colors of the rainbow. Wow. I also got God. activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. You guys must get a uh, picture in front of the couture sign. Couture love. Alright, no, no, no. Carly, get out of there. It smells like pee in <laughs> what is this? This is my beautiful girlfriend. Aww. We brought her on the trip. Very epic. She didn't come. We ended up going to the beach, watching the sunset. Set as in go behind the mountain yes. in Montenegro. It did not set over the horizon because we're surrounded by mountains. Went back home, did some grocery shopping, and now we are heading into the old city to uh, get some dinner and uh, then go to a jazz club, which I don't think I'm dressed for, but whatever. <laughs> kind of interesting, it's like seven o'clock here, so it's not that late, but it doesn't seem like anybody But it also gets dark so early, so if anything, it feels like it. Yeah. And no one is out, well, also, people are out walking, but no one's eating dinner yet. I don't know, are we yeah. early? We missed the oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you got a big juicy steak. And, yeah, and the vegetables look so good. I'm so excited. Mm. Did you get carbonara? Yeah. It does look creamy. <laughs> Very tasty. I like the blueberry sauce a lot. What a night. What a night. That was so much.
much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Such a cool like jazz club. I feel like it was kind of like rock jazz. It wasn't like actual jazz. I guess, yeah. But it was. Yeah. It was Especially cool. the drummer. He really liked hitting the. Oh drums. man, he <laughs> was epic. He was the most jazzy of the really? three. Oh. I felt like sure. he was really like ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba <laughs> Yes, that is how the drums go. <laughs> we also met these really cool people. That was fun. That was super Ed fun. Ed and Izzy. Ed and Izzy. Ed looked like he was straight out of like a rock I was gonna say band. Like, a, yeah. like such an iconic look. Yeah. Man, really I wish cool. I could pull off a look like that. <laughs> so epic. They were so funny. They're from England. Like, super kind great. Of near London. Which way to go? I think we go this way. They were so sweet because they saw us standing, like, because there weren't any tables left. And they had a table with four seats and they were taking up two of them. So they came over and offered us the other So table. generous. It was so sweet. So cool to hang out with them and, and uh, get to know them for a couple minutes. <laughs> In between the... <laughs> yeah, it was kind of hard. I think I got most of what they said. But, yeah. you know, between the accents and the heavy music. So, yeah. I don't know. Epic. Probably lost a few words there. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> we spent almost two weeks in Kotor, so we made sure to fill up our time by hiking the old fortress walls, visiting the neighboring town of Peras, and taking a boat ride around the biggest bay in all of Europe, including man-made islands, World War II submarine tunnels, and this electric blue cave. We'll be releasing the full videos of these excursions in the next few weeks, so make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on. Today is our last full day in Montenegro. It went by so fast. I did. We stayed here for almost two weeks. It's a great time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're in search of breakfast now. We have a laundry list of things we need to do today. We need to walk the walls, we need to look at churches, go to a museum, get an, get an ornament. ornament. Ornament? We finished our croissant and coffee, and now we are headed to the wall walk. We'll see if we can find it. We keep seeing people like up on the walls walking, but I've never seen the spot where you walk up to enter, and I don't know if it costs money, like I don't know. So Who knows? We're gonna go find out and let you know. It's part of the adventure. I believe our adventure has come to an end. Yeah, that looks like a residence. I don't think we can go that way. Oh, I think we found the way to the wall walk. Wall walk. It's really pretty. And there's not many people here, which is also very nice. I'm not sure what this is, but it's cool. Some kind of like event area in It's got all those areas for, is that for light or something? Do cool events with the mountains in the yeah. background? Yeah. Look at that trash can. Man, life sure is good for you, huh? Can you hear her purring so much? No. Oh, she loves it. Got ourselves a new shadow. This is the first cat that I really loved. He or she reminds me of my cat growing up, Toby. Hi, honey. So we decided to uh, name her no, or I him didn't, Skinny didn't. Toby because no. my old cat Toby was a little chunky <laughs> but he was very loved by our family until my parents gave him away to a family that thought he was an outside cat when he was really an inside cat and then they killed him. <laughs> That's the end of that I'm story. not bitter at all. <laughs> we found ourselves onto a wall and there's no doors that are stopping us, so we'll probably just keep walking. No holding hands on this. Well, we've found our way onto the city walls, which are really cool. If you like walking on walls, you'll like walking on these walls. I don't know how else to uh, hype them up, 
other than they're just it's kind of cool because nobody is here you're just saying but all the doors are open so you can like walk on it so this is free at least right now to walk on the city walls but then if you want to go up the walls like we did on our hike the other day then you do have to pay to walk on those ones so that's unless you go through out. the back door unless you do the trail we did which we'll show you in our video of that hike uh which you go up the back way and you can sneak in without having to pay the eight euros each yeah you can see how to do that walk for free and honestly I think it's cooler to do it that way anyway. Yeah. More fun. It's probably easier. Mm -hmm. so. But this is neat. It is a little bit less like dramatic, I think, than Dubrovnik. But it's still cool, and especially because it's free. Yeah. Someone's going baby crazy. This is just Cat Alley. This video is just literally a bunch of cats. I think we might have found our first purchase. <laughs> we will buy this place. It's right next to the church. That would be annoying. Oh, um, I don't know. Bells all the time. It's pretty cool though. We'll live here someday, someday. Oh, this is the restaurant we ate at. It is? Oh, whoa. That would be such a great location to live there and just walk next door to the restaurant. I know, pasta every day. Oh, honey. Very happy. Everything that moves and breathes shall be one into pet. Guess that's what it used to look like forever ago. Those are the walls we walked on today. Loads of family crests. Wow, look at that piece of history. It's a beautiful old electric piano. Honestly, it's really frustrating that there's a little line here so I can't play it. Okay, so you guys definitely need to check out the Maritime Museum because it's very cool. And also come on the off season in a random weekday because there's literally no one here. We have the entire place to ourselves. Such a nice hallway of ships. No. Why would you Why? <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> Creepy. This is not a Halloween episode. <laughs> the Maritime Museum ended up being one of our favorite things we did in Kotor. The tickets were only like four euros a person, and you get to see two floors worth of amazing artifacts and history. We especially loved seeing all the model ships. I really want bottle. one of those like ships in a bottle and I just decided I want it to be a Caraca like, from Dalmatia. Like the ones we saw in, in Dubrovnik. They're so cool. Or we have to have a painting of a Caraca or something in our house someday. We need a replica of a ship this big in our house someday. Ah. It would take over a lot of the living room. Mm -hmm. And the cat can yeah. sit in there. A sea cat. What if we put like a bed inside it for the cat? <laughs> Just got done with the Maritime Museum and we went into the Russian, Russian Orthodox, Orthodox Church. Um, both very cool and definitely worth checking out. So interesting to hear about the history of this place. Yeah, and some of the art in the Russian Orthodox Church. Oh, look at that cat! I know, I saw him oh. right up there. Now we are in search of an ornament because we get one from every place we visit. It's interesting to see they restored some of it, but then just some of it got chipped away. We find ourselves at a pizzeria. This may be our last Aperol spritz for a while. You 
don't get any. Awesome. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. Let's see how this pizza tastes. We got done with our pizza, which was mediocre. Now, we must get some gelato for our last. We haven't had any since we came in no. the city. So, Can you it's believe our last it? day, we better have it. I know. Good hazelnut. The guy selling it made sure to point out it's salted hazelnut and salted pistachio. We're all packed up. We're gonna be heading to Patgorica Airport and leaving Montenegro for our next destination. What did you think of Montenegro? What did I think of Montenegro? Yeah. Um, in a word, old. Uh, it was really pretty beautiful. I mean, there's so much history. That's such a loaded question. There's so much to it, but it is really a spectacular place. Beautiful, beautiful mountains and views and the people are really nice. Lots of cats, that's for sure. <laughs> Montenegro is very soft and fluffy. Yes. I, I love the pacing here. It's been nice to just slow down a little bit. This is really the last leg of the journey that we're about to start on today and it's about to get uh, pretty busy up in here. Hi, apartment. The last apartment, maybe. But before we head to our next destination, we're gonna show you what it's like hiking up the old fortress walls of Kotor. This was quite a unique hike, unlike anything we've ever done before. So make sure to check back next week and find out how it all went down. <laughs>